So just briefly, uh, uh, just have a brief explanation of this, and then we'll get to the demo. Wikidata walkabout. Um, <clears throat> you can see there's a little logo for it. Uh, there's the website, which anyone can go to already, but I'll be showing it. Uh, I came up with the idea a few years ago. Uh, created uh, a few months ago uh, by, uh, again, by Sahaj Khandalwal, whom, whom I mentioned before. Uh, and we worked together on it all, though he did most of the coding, and he, I believe, is uh, is watching this now. Um, he's here now, uh, so he can also answer questions. Uh, uh, it it's a uh, it's a website. It runs uh, all the code has been released as a separate open source application, uh, and it uses Vue.js, and you can see it there, and you can uh, download it yourself. It uh, does drill down for all of Wikidata. So it's very similar in concept to both semantic drill down and the, the cargo equivalent of that, the, the special drill down page. Um, and you may you may see similar interface elements if you're familiar with either of those. The, the basic idea is it treats Wikidata, instead of just being a graph, it treats it as a set of tables. Um, so there's a, there's a type called properties for, for this type uh, that shows up on some Wikidata uh, items and that you can think of as defining the columns of each table, the you know the the, the expected data. And then there's another co property called instance of that, in a sense, defines the rows of each table. And this will hopefully make more sense uh, when you see the demo. Uh, the the other goal was with the interface to, to to focus as much as possible on the data and avoid anything any kind of jargon jargon jargon. Now that sounds weird. Uh, uh, whenever possible. Um, uh, so, so basically, people don't really need to know that they're looking at Wikidata data specifically. Uh, there's a support for a lot of languages. You'll see that the display is configurable, uh, and one of those, one of the ways that displays can, that things are configurable, is that you can actually use it, point it to any Wikibase installation, not just Wikidata. Uh, as long as there are equivalent properties in that installation to those two properties I mentioned, instance of and properties for this this type. Uh, and by the way, this shouldn't be uh, viewed as an endorsement of using Wikibase because I generally don't think people should be using Wikibase outside of Wikidata, but that's a whole separate discussion. But anyway, you can do that if you want to and, uh, and hopefully makes it uh, a nicer experience. So here is Wikidata Walkabout. Uh, let me make sure by the way that people can see this. I guess people can still see this and hear me. Uh, let me know if you can't. Um, so um, yeah, there's a bunch of starting classes. Uh, uh, that, that's what we refer to, the, to each of these as a class. Uh, you can also enter your, your own. It does auto completion. So like if I want to, um, I can't even think of one that's not on here. Um, what's a good one? Um, uh, well, there's, uh, there's skyscraper, but if I wanted to do building, I could also do that. Um, oh, that's actually a good one. We should add this in um, add to the defaults. Fine, let's go with this one. So uh, a building has uh, all, all these uh, properties that are, that are expected, that are set for it. Uh, so I can click on any of these, uh, and it'll get me, it'll aggregate them based on that. So you can see all these different things and you know the 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 layout of the data this is already a ton of information um, uh, and uh, and for each page you can also view the sparkle query so so you, so it doubles as a sparkle query builder um, so if I run this it'll return the same thing more or less um, yeah. So, so then, yeah, you can just keep drilling down. Let me see. Um, that's about cool. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a support for a lot of languages to, to uh, in honor of our uh, hosts. Let me let's uh, see what this looks like in German. You can see the the interface is still hard coded in English, and we're working on getting it into to uh, translate wiki so that everything will be translated. But you can see the filter names are in the the language of uh, choice. And wherever possible, the data is also in, in that language. Um, but if not, it just goes with whatever exists, whatever language it's in. Let's try something more, uh, more out of the way. Uh, this is Chinese. OK, none of this data happens to be in Chinese. But uh, you 
get the uh, idea, hopefully. Um, let's see, what else uh, can I show that's interesting? It's a good way of uh, being able to find um, uh, errors if you want to 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 go about you know just fixing problems in uh, in Wikidata. This is a great way to do it. So, for instance, for television series, um, well, for well, well, okay. Let me uh, let's do this one for example. So, uh, there's al already from from the start. You there's this no value value which you can click on to show all the ones that don't all the items that don't have a value for that filter. So that's uh, for that property in, in Wikidata terms. Uh, so that's an easy way to go through and uh, and, and find missing data. Um, but what else do I want to show? Yeah, for, for you can, you can there, there are all sorts of ways you can go through and find things that obviously seem incorrect. Like for instance, there's a value here of one to 100, the years one to 100 for the start time. Uh, and of course there were no TV series uh, at that time, unfortunately for them. Uh, so yeah, so let's see what's going on with this Cagney and Lacey thing. Uh, that was a show from the eighties and yeah, you can see here, somebody accidentally entered the year 82 instead of 1982. So that's just a small example of the kind of thing that, that this, um, the kind of error that this makes it easy to find. Uh, there was a little, uh, interface error there. That's all right. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out is that it also, this also um, uh, lets you view subclasses and superclasses. So this is all other classes that, that, that are defined as being an instance of television series. So you can see here, for instance, I mean, all of, uh, most of this, in, in my opinion, is incorrect data. That uh, All of the uh, entities that are defined as these other things should actually just be defined as television series. And American television sitcom is a perfect example. It should be just television series, and there's separate properties to define the nationality and the uh, genre of that thing. So. My hope, our hope is is one of the benefits, one of the results of Wikidata Walkabout uh, getting used more and becoming more popular is that it will, um, uh, uh, what's the word? It will uh, flatten the class structure on Wikidata and and get people to, uh, to use just a, a much smaller set of classes to define things and and you know cl clean up what I what I view as uh, as uh, uh, problems or uh, um, inconsistencies in within the uh, within Wikidata. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I can show some more stuff if um, or answer any questions. People can still hear and see me. Now I'm paranoid. So the idea comes principally, um, or basically, from uh, a need to clean up, <laughs> to clean up everything, because you say it's important to, to flatten um, the, the category structure, and uh, but also to yeah. retrieve information so both it's, it's more yeah clear. yeah i mean it makes it, 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 it uh, having a smaller number of, of classes would help not just wiki data walk about but anybody who's doing just sparkle querying on mm -hmm. all of this stuff i mean if you have to create a sparkle query if you want to see you know the the uh all the tv series uh from uh from the 60s or something and you have to do your sparkle query to include every single subclass of television series then it then it's you know it's a lot more difficult to do that yeah um right yeah and any any questions remarks okay well that was uh, uh i want let me see was there anything else uh Sahaj, did I miss anything? You would. Um, um, oh, here's my um, here's my favorite uh, strange subclass: big city. There's three thousand <laughs> cities that are not cities; they're big cities. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone out there going through and, and trying to yeah. fix stuff. But, yeah. And uh, Ingolstadt. Um, so on a global perspective, Ulm and Ingolstadt, I don't think I say something wrong, but this is not a... Oh, oh yeah. yeah okay, maybe right. if you live in a town like Regensburg, for instance, you think that is a big city, but it isn't. Um, so Remscheid and Reutlingen. Uh -huh, okay, I see. Um, so we have to well, do it, something. Yeah. <laughs> if I refresh. <laughs> no, Regensburg is not big. <laughs> Uh, I think about one, what, 140,000 uh, inhabitants, yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty big. Well, it's not that big. No, if it, hey, uh, yeah, so Mexico City is a huge city. That's or, a big city. Uh, so that are big cities. That is what we talk about. We talk about global, in a global perspective and problems we have with cities. So we are more a village here and sometimes, um, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope uh, I hope someone goes through and fixes all these things. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. I like it. I like it. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. I wanted to show. A f uh, is there time? There's a few minutes left. If there's no other questions, how is this data extractable? That's an interesting question. Actually, um, it's uh, one thing we want to add is a uh, is a format. Uh, URL parameter, just like Semantic Media Wiki or Cargo have, where you can then export it as CSV or something. Uh, right now, there there isn't. Although, I mean, like, you can get the the corresponding Sparkle query for any page, and then maybe there's some way to get CSV using Sparkle query. But yeah, it would be great to just be able to to have a little uh, download CSV link from the bottom or something. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, so I want to so so human actually is it might be the biggest class on Wikidata, and and uh, surprisingly, it's actually the the quote unquote cleanest class. There really aren't that many uh, subclasses of human. There's a few, but it's really tiny. Um, the there's there's nothing for for you know Canadian human or whatever. Um, so. Um, yeah, so this is nice. So of course, it means I think there's I can't remember very roughly ten million humans in Wikidata. Um, so so some of these um, uh, let's see what uh, what's an example occupation I think. So a lot of these early queries um, it will just take too long for it to actually show a, a breakdown of the, of all the values. So instead, what it does is it just gets however many values it gets and just displays them. And um, uh, well, you'll see in a second. By the way, I'm, I'm quite surprised uh, at how fast this querying generally is. Of course, this is an extreme example. But uh, as, as you saw, I mean, um, I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of the time it's quite speedy. Um, that was our big one of our big worries. Really, the big worry uh, when we started out was: is this even feasible to uh, to query uh, uh, a database of whatever it is? I don't know, billions of uh, facts, um, and have it be useful. But it's actually, I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely speedy. Uh, yeah. So here you can see um, it, it took too long to get a complete set of values, so it's just doing the best it can. Here. So that, that, that's one of the ways we uh, came up with to uh, to overcome uh, problems with uh, in dealing with a gigantic uh, uh, data set.